Hello friends, I am Paya, your own study abroad expert. So, so far I have made a lot of videos on which uh, universities you should go to, which countries you should prefer for your higher education, which are the countries where education is quite cheap and which courses you could undertake. Now I'm going to cover a very different topic here, which is very, very important. So a lot of uh, people, you know, when they are, you know, preparing for the exams, they, you know, we have a lot of distractions. We're not really able to focus on the exams. And, you know, after writing our exams, we feel that we should have taken care of a few more things that could have enhanced our productivity and helped us achieve our desired scores. So there have been a lot of videos on what you should do while you're preparing for your exams. Now this video is a little different and you stay with us till the end. We're going to talk about what things you should avoid while you're preparing for exam. Remember, I'm going to cover a few tips that you need to take care of, which you should avoid in your preparation. So let's talk about the first thing. Uh, do not be all over the place. You should have your own workspace. So if you are in the habit of, you know, studying everywhere and anywhere in your house or in your study area, then it is not uh, you know, a good way to get, uh, you, you know, focused or to develop that concentration. So have your own workspace. That is very important so that you can pin all your notes and your timetable, etc. And you have everything intact there. So that's one important tip. The second tip is do not have unrealistic timetables. So a lot of us are uh, you know, habituated to make those long timetables. And sometimes those timetables are very unrealistic. You make a whole month of timetable in which you are studying for 24 hours and you are studying for 16 hours. Do you think it's really feasible? It's not really feasible. I mean, we, we have a sea of distractions around us, social media and multiple other things. So our timetables should be realistic. And the moment you make an unrealistic timetable, you would probably start panicking. You would get mentally drained out by reading it all over again and again. And uh, that is going to create a hurdle. It would demotivate you and you would start procrastinating your activities. So procrastination is a big stumbling block. I mean, the moment you start your preparation, if you have already started procrastinating your actions, which means you will not be able to achieve your targets. So avoid that as well. So third important point is that uh, do not focus only on your strengths. So a lot of people, they know that they're good at something and they keep revising it all over again. I mean, just to make themselves happy that they're well prepared, but that's not the approach. In real life, we're always taught to focus on our strength so that we can succeed. But while we are preparing for any exams, we should always focus on our weaknesses and not only on strengths. Now, the fourth point is, do not go straight for the exam without revising. So if you see, uh, you know, a lot of students, uh, you know, when they learn their topics and chapters, they think they have, you know, learned them enough and they do not need to revise. And when you straight go for your exams, you would feel the gap, you feel, uh, you feel that you've forgotten most of it. So revisions is very important. In the upcoming video, we would talk about few techniques of revision like you know, spaced repetition and uh, we would also talk about various other, you know, uh, methodologies like bite-sized learning in detail. Now let's talk about this point that you were talking about revision. In fact, a lot of students should use, you know, color schemes to revise their lessons. They could use the, you know, traffic signal lights like um, red, yellow and green. So if you're quite comfortable with the subject, you could use the color green. And uh, if you think that you're progressing, you know, in your, uh, you know, in a particular subject and you're improving, you could probably use a yellow. And if you think that there is one topic or there is a subject that you really need to focus on, you could keep it in a red zone. So that would, uh, you know, really make things very clear for you that which areas to work on and which areas you need not really focus a lot. So there are a few things that you could really, you know, revise at short intervals if you think you're not really getting hang of it. And there are a few topics that you could always keep it towards the end. So, you know, you know, understanding what to revise and how to revise is also very important. Now, the next important point that I would like to talk about is 
you know, unwinding yourself that is a very very important so what you should not do is you know, study for long hours and not taking breaks so that is very important we should take uh, you know breaks in between our studies that is very important to keep our uh, you know recharged and to maintain that concentration and to improve our retention power so it's scientifically proven that we cannot remember anything um, you know beyond a certain period of time and whatever we read or learn we would uh, be able to remember only for 18 to 36 hours and uh, beyond a week you would have forgotten almost 75 percent or sometimes even more of that so which means that constant revisions is important so initially the students always used to believe that we should work very hard and we should work long hours we should be studying all the time but these days uh, no one thinks like that we have to work smartly and we should take uh, short breaks after you know a certain period of uh, you know studying say for example if you're studying for 45 minutes or one hour you should take a 15 minute short break and that would help you um you know unwind yourself and uh, you know because sometimes you know when you study for long hours your mind you know stops responding your uh, uh, retention power also becomes less so short breaks would really help you to get recharged and to also retain the information that you've already read or studied. So remember one thing, break lena bahut zaruri hai. Thore thore time ke baad, choti choti breaks wo aisa magic karti hai, jisse aapko sab kuch yaad rehta hai. Aur aap aage ke liye bhi usko padne ke liye aur nai information ke liye ready ho jate hai. So this is very important. Now another uh, important point, the last point that I would like to talk about is uh, do not go straight into the exam without you know doing any mock exams so a lot of people think that we've learned a lot of uh, you know concepts we know a lot we have a lot of knowledge so we need not write any mock exams so that is not correct so it's not only about knowing the concepts it's not only about how to do those questions and get the answers correct it's also about how you strategize the exam what kind of questions you need to attempt first and what kind of questions you could look into later. Probably you should focus on your weaknesses first or the strengths first. So you need to write a lot of mock exams to understand what works for you. So strategizing the exam, how to attempt it within that uh, you know timeline, say two and a half, three hours, whatever is the duration of the exam is very important. So writing few mock exams would help you um, you know, understand what is going to work for you and how you should attempt the actual exam. So I hope these videos were useful. In the upcoming videos, we would talk a lot more about different techniques that you should use, how to enhance your productivity, how to improve your concentration and uh, how to achieve your desired scores. So we want to be a part of your uh, success and journey. So all the best and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us. There's a lot more that we have to you know share with you and there's a lot more that you can learn from us so you know subscribe our channel if you have any comment please drop it in the comment section if you want us to make the video on a particular topic be free to write in the comment and share this link with all your friends and uh, we would you know come back soon with something very interesting thank you